Hello there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. Nick, we have a debut teams match today. We have the high table going up against question mark, question mark, question mark. Not a team name. We just don't know who they are. Except I do. Ha ha. Sucks. Nick, thoughts? Yeah, Tim, you told me about this little setup you did. Uh, I'm excited about the high table. I think Kirk and Brian could be fun like these grumpy old guys coming in to yes. be a team both have played in fandom before, but I've never really taken fandom seriously. So I'm excited to that, but it's all a question of who they're playing against. So I'm excited to see what you've concocted, but uh, I'm more excited to hear what uh, Kirk and Brian have to say. All right. Well, let's go uh, talk to them in the promos. Huh, sucks, Nick. Kirk and Brian aren't playing. Uh, the high table is actually my new team. That's right. I'm back. It's not the macaw. She's just sitting here to look pretty and uh, do the law. My new teammate once teamed with the macaw, though. It's Tyler Butler. He's back in <laughs> fandom. It's Tyler. Oh, my God. Tyler, hey, you bought a laptop just to do this. We're going to have a secret team. Um, are you ready? I am. Never been more ready. I been studying like nonstop since it had a two-year break and i'm all caught up on the disney live action films so we are set yeah not actually in fandom anymore tyler disney's disney animation is here but live action's out oh uh, well at least i was good at like fandom oscars you know so i mean we can you know, still bitch, girls, so. tyler <laughs> fandom oscars is gone it's not here anymore do you know the do you know the track I know oh, Rocky. Yeah. Rocky. Oh. All right, let's let's go see who the other. Oh wait, I know who it is. I want to play. I want to play Nick. I want to play Nick with a new teammate. Nick, that's who I want. That's who we're gonna play. Nick, find a teammate and we're gonna play you, and your new teammate versus me and Tyler. Let's go. Let's do it. Tim. Shit. Okay. Hang on. Scully. Uh, listen, Tim's kind of being a bitch right now. And he, uh, he made like a secret team and I need a teammate and you're with co-host still. You're... Um, okay. No, that's fine, buddy. All right. Um, uh, Jesus Christ. Rizzy. It's been a while, bud, but you, you feeling it? You want to come back? No? You, you, okay. Uh, all right. I got one more. No, Ann. All right. Evan DeGraff. Uh, how you been? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do it. So, hi, Mark. Um. Yeah, they they you know they 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 brought us in to 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 do this uh, match, I, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Me. I mean, I just got sent a link, and you know it. You know, whenever someone just randomly sends you a link out of out of the blue, you always click it. So. Yeah, that makes sense. That's how uh, I'm going to get ten million dollars from some uh, print someday. Absolutely. Win anyway, we got a match. <laughs> uh, <a> cell phone. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, we got a match. Uh, they, uh, Nick and Tim brought us in here to host this one. Uh, I don't even know. I guess we just bring in the teams. I guess, uh, I, we were, uh, new to this. I mean, I suppose, or do we talk this up or I don't know. You guys are killing it. Thank Round you. One. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What? Oh my god. What is Yo, whoever's doing this, you can, you can just do it. Okay, there, there we go. Okay. Hi, I don't want next to Nick, though. Oh. <laughs> well, you talk to the person doing it. Anyway, Dumb and Dumbledore. High table. Getting into round number one. Round number one is going to work like this. You get 10 questions from uh, different categories in the realms of fandom fights. You have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. At the end of the time, you will uh, show and verbalize your answer. Uh, you get a point for each correct answer, and if you get all 10 correct, you will get a bonus question. I... It feels like we kind of steamrolled through all that, but I mean, are we going to talk about anything else or are we going to, you know, got any more bits? Oh, I hate Tim. Tim, you suck. Right. Thanks. All right. First question will come in the category of sci fi icons. Fuck. <laughs> Who voices Terracon Scourge? It. Who? <laughs> Who voices the Terracon Scourge in Transformers Rise of the Beast? Perfect start to this match, Dylan. <laughs> you know, I actually read it in my head the exact same way you said it, too, and I was equally as confused as you were reading it. This is going to be Five. fun! <laughs> Three, two, one, hands down. Uh, let's go to Nick. I'm aware of the character Ross Marquand. Uh, Tyler. Is that Ron Perlman? No, he voiced somewhere in there. But I don't know if that was. Uh, Anna. The greatest voice actor of all time, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> okay, and Tim. It's Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage is correct. Uh, Tim getting that correct. I hate that I know that. One to zero. Perfect rounds. <laughs> so. Your next question will come in the category of Disney animation. In a strange world, what is Searcher's profession? Is that really a character's name in this movie? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Have you? Yes, absolutely. Nice. Um, yeah, amazing. you're a competitor how, here. How you must specific have do you need? Uh... It's a general answer. Five, four, three. <laughs> Two, one, pens down. Let's go to Tyler. I've never seen this movie, so I just said actor. <laughs> All right, Anna. I've also never seen this movie. He said doctor. Yay, Tim. Farmer. And Nick. Farmer. Oh, here we said. Farmer is correct. Uh, high table, keeping the lead two to one. Going into your next question in the category of mixed bag in star trek 5 the final frontier what is the name of spock's half brother oh thank god <laughs> what's your favorite mixed bag movie uh, i mean like all of them nice it's like you know sin city and mixed bag no i think that's a different league sorry <laughs> <laughs> three two one Pens down. Let's go to Anna. I said Link. Yay. Uh, Tim? Cybok. All right. Nick? Cybok. And Tyler? Didn't have anything. <laughs> All right. Cybok is correct. Uh, three to two. Next question. In the category of the worlds of DC. In Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, what item does Batman leave behind after stealing the kryptonite from LexCorp? It'd be a lot of things. Hmm. You know, we don't need, usually have uh, banter about nerd shit, and now you know, here we are, and we've got <clears throat> nothing to say. Uh, with that nerd shit. Talk yes, because the films of Stanley Kubrick are super not nice. <laughs> Pins down. Let's go to Tim. I said a batarang. Okay. Uh, Nick. You also said a batarang, and I like Anna's face. Right. <laughs> Tyler. Also said batarang. Anna? I thought this was a made up word. I also said a batarang. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Battering is correct, so clean sweep on that question. <laughs> Going into your next question of the category of Pixar. In which film will you find an important sign of respect called The Big Bow? I said that right, right? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I was, I was a little bit, you know, not sure, and feel you like you know. You got more confident in yourself, Mark. I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I know how to read. Uh, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, I think we're back over to Nick. Elemental. Okay, Tyler. I said soul. Okay, Anna. I said brave. Hey, Tim. We all said different movies. I said up. <laughs> and with that, no more perfect rounds. The correct answer was elemental. Oh, uh, Nick getting that, tying it up. Oh, that's that. right with the fire people. Yeah. Racism. I, I, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Your next question will be in the category of Star Wars. What is the name of Anakin's Padawan in Star Wars The Clone Wars? Do you give a shit about these movies? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah well, I think they're okay. Yeah, yeah. They're... It's the bane of my trivia existence. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I can believe that. Get there, use, use one. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. But, uh, uh, t uh, Tyler, Tyler. Said Soka. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Anna. I said ping. I don't know. Ahsoka. <laughs> and Nick. We skipped over watching this one because I don't like it very much. But that's okay. <laughs> Ahsoka is correct. So high table taking the lead back. Seven to six. Going to your next question. The category of DC. Who portrays the captain of the Caspertine flying ship Captain Shakespeare in Stardust. Oh. oh boy. I hope I said that right. Famous Stardust? Little... Yeah, you said that right. <laughs> Thank God. All right. Nothing to worry about there. <laughs> Captain, oh. you got that one right too. There we go. Yeah. Caspertine, Bye. way off. Okay. <laughs> One bends down. Uh, where the fuck are we? Uh, yeah, Anna. Um, I don't know if this is a person or a movie. I said Shazam. <laughs> okay, uh, Tim. Uh, Robbie D. Robert De Niro. All right, and uh, Nick. Nick. Robert De Niro. That's okay. Tyler. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro is correct. Uh, I think we can uh, maintain the lead uh, nine to seven. So your next question will be in the category of the MCU. What is Kamala Khan's hero name in the Marvels? Oh yeah, I forgot this movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're we're such we're we are so overly qualified to host this. <laughs> Obviously, there is. <laughs> Definitely a bunch of people that just had to say no for this. Mm -hmm. uh, five. <laughs> I like you guys. I like Thank the way you. you. It's <laughs> down. Uh, Tim. Miss Marvel. Oh, yeah. uh, Nick. Miss Marvel. Tyler. Miss Marvel. And Anna. I don't know if it matters how you spelled Miss, but Miss Marvel. Doesn't... We'll take it. Great. Yeah, do it, Tim. Miss <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marvel's correct. We're going to just go right along to horror icons. In which Halloween film will you find the school Hillcrest Academy? Oh, this category I enjoy. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Most people like... hate it. And uh, right. it's funny. I don't like most of the movies in the category, but I still like it on principle, I guess. <laughs> you just described, like, most of the categories of fan fights. True. <laughs> Three, two, 
one. Pens down. Uh, yeah, Nick. Halloween H two O twenty years later. Uh, Tyler. I said Halloween H two O. Okay, uh, Anna. I said Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, uh, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween H two O. We haven't gotten there yet. It's fine. <laughs> Halloween H two O, Halloween H two O. Twenty years later, we'll accept both answers. So uh, high table, maintain lead thirteen to ten. Going in. Last questions category. In the category of epic adventures. In the Chronicles of Narnia, the Voyage of the Dawn Treader, uh, what type of item does Caspian have to gather from each of the seven lost lords? This movie. This movie. Balls. Oh. I mean, I, I wouldn't have known for the longest time. I didn't have to watch it until, you know. Sorry. This yeah. is actually one of my favorite films, not going to lie. Really? That's not, that cannot be true. Ben's doing Danny Dillon. Uh, <laughs> go to, uh, yeah, Tyler. I did everything. <laughs> All right, got it. Anna. I said a pin. Okay, Tim. Is it swords? And Nick. It was hovering around swords, but ultimately with a coin. Swords uh, is correct. So, Tim getting that one. Getting the high table score up to 14. But Dumb and Dumbledore at 10. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yep. All right. Uh, means we get into round number two. Uh, there's no wheel. I oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means we're going into round number two. Uh, it's going to work like this. Each team's going to get a chance to spin our wheel. At the end, of the, uh, they like what they spin on the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can like to spin again, but they must keep what they land on the second time. Uh, each team's going to get uh, five questions worth two points apiece, or they can check down to multiple choice for one point apiece. Uh, they're a stealing, so both teams watch your ass on that. Uh, the, uh, the categories they can spend today are DreamWorks, YA, Criminal Underworld, Law and Order, MCU, Mixed Bag, Disney Animation, and Wizarding World, as well as Spinners and Opponent's Choice. Uh, the high table, you are ahead. So would you like to spin first or defer? You want to go first or second, Tyler? I'm up for other. I'd like to go second, personally. Okay, sure. All right. We'll go All second. Right. Chicken. So dumb yeah, dumb big, yes, I am. Your first spin. You land on YA. What do you want to do? We, sh we should probably keep that, but there's like, uh, we're probably going to get a Twilight one that I'm unsure of. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. But I think, I think we should probably go with that. All right. That's oh. We will keep it, please. Excuse me on that one. And Dylan, why don't you ask him those YA questions? Sure thing. So your first question you. in the category of YA. Once I can find the category. There it is. All right. Your first question. Which YA film has a location called The Pit? The, the Maze Runner? No, I think that's... So that's The Glade. I think The Pit is Divergent. That's where, like, the Dauntless fight um, is, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Divergent final answer. That is correct for two points. Your next question. Who plays the leader of District 13, Alma Coyne, in the Hunger Games franchise? Her name is Julianne Moore. Awesome. Coyne is the president that Katniss kills at the end? For sure. Okay. Julianne yes. Moore final answer. That is correct for two points. Awesome. For sure. That's all good. And your third question. In the Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, who was Mary Taylor's contact inside the Wicked organization? Um, Mary is the lady at the end with the right arm. And then when Thomas and all of them get there, I think it was Thomas. Because Mary's like, he was the one who was feeding us the information. And we learned Thomas is a good guy. Yeah, we were like pissed. Thomas, final answer. 
That is correct for two more points. We were pissed. And now your penultimate question in this category. What is the name of the vampire who can control emotions in the Twilight franchise? Jasper? Yeah. Do I have to say it? You should say it and then, right? Because he just did that to Bella, right? To make her happy? Yeah, when we watched it today. Yeah, yeah so say it. Yeah, go ahead. For final answer. That is correct for two more points. Yay. <laughs> and now your uh, final question in this category. In the Hunger Games Catching Fire, what special event is being held as a celebration for a Hunger Games milestone? Isn't it like the Hunger Games where all of the victors like play? Yeah, but it's called something. Are you I think it's okay, quarter quell, does that sound right? Uh sure, yeah. Four, three, quarter quell two. final answer. And that is correct for two more points and the clean sweep of the category. <laughs> that dumb and uh, Dumbledore, I guess I score up to uh, 20. High table still at 14. Is that what you had? Uh, <sighs> Sorry. What I have, yeah. Now you know how I feel all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oops. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's the wheel. High table. It's your first spin. Oh, criminal underwear. Do you want that or you want to spin again? All right. So, like we talked about, I would yes. be helpful in some of this, but not all of it. Like, how how are you feeling? So this was the last category that I just like watched all of. So you got so, through all of Fast and Oceans. Yes. Um, then I yes. think we should probably take it, unless I think so. Like, unless you feel like better about it, like another category no but... i mean i just watched all of fast and i watched john wick last year so i <laughs> oceans is the one that i would need your help with on the most so okay. if you feel confident like being doing big in it like i think we should take it okay yeah okay good. we'll take it okay uh -huh. We had a team named the High Table, very hesitant on taking criminal <laughs> underworld yeah but, uh, of course. <laughs> here are your questions which criminal underworld film opens with a prisoner transport bus being forced to crash by the sister of one of the prisoners? That's five. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. five. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Next question. Who plays Europool Detective Isabel Lahiri in Ocean's Twelve? Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> Great. Catherine Zeta Jones. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> that is correct for two more points. Your next question. In John Wick Chapter 4, the Harbinger is missing what specific body part? Oh, it's his uh, finger. Which one's the Harbinger? He's the guy who. Um, sets the rules and everything for like the the duels and like all that. Oh, oh kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Go for it. He said fingers. It. Final answer. Let me uh, set that for uh, two points. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> next question. In Furious Seven, what is the name of the hacker who created God's Eye? It's. Ramsey, yeah. Is it Ramsey? I was about to say that's Natalie Emmanuel, right? Yeah. So yeah, Ramsey, believe... final answer. That is correct. And to take the lead, twenty-two. And your final question, category: Criminal Underworld. In nineteen sixties, Ocean's Eleven. How does Tony die shortly after the team completes the heist? Oh, do you? I don't. Oh, God. I hope I'm going to get a question for this movie. <laughs> um, I think I have an idea, but Nick and Anna clearly know. So I yeah, think so we'll, we'll do multiple, multiple choice, maybe. Multiple yeah, multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice <laughs> options are A, shot, B, run over, C, explosion, or D, heart attack. 
So two of the things I was thinking were there. Um, do you have any? Have you seen the movie? I was, it was in the background. <laughs> it's a terrible movie. Four. Repeat the options. All right, your options again are A, shot, B, run over, C, explosion, or D, heart attack. Actually, how do you feel about using a full repeat? I mean, it's up to you. I'm, I mean, yeah, I think I want to hear the question one more time to hear if there was just a descriptor of the character again. Gosh. But let's use a full repeat. All right, that is your first repeat your question again. In in 1960s, Ocean's Eleven, how does Tony die shortly after the team completes the heist? Is it A, shot, B, run over, C, explosion, or D, heart attack? Do you care if I just shoot for it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Heart attack, final answer. <laughs> That is correct for what <laughs> I need to erase. I need to. I, I haven't seen the film, but I need to delete a question now. Oh, <laughs> that's why you knew. <laughs> okay, uh, I got a high table score of twenty three. Dub and Dumbledore up to twenty. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have. Yet. Great, and uh, that means we're going into round number three, uh, the betting round, in which. Uh, our teams are going to get uh, five, question, five questions in uh, five more categories, fandom fights. Uh, they can bet as many as uh, zero or uh, up to two points. Uh, they will uh, uh, only one player from each team can answer a question for first four questions. Uh, one uh, teammate takes the first question. The other teammate has to take uh, the next one. We reset after two questions, and our teams will get to confer on the fifth and final question. Uh We'll go until uh, we're out of questions or one team is mathematically eliminated. The first category teams can bet on, round number three, is Epic Adventures. All right. Uh, which, uh, who's taking? Uh, oh, yeah. Hi, table. Who's taking the question? Uh, what are you betting? Uh, I'm taking it for two. All right. Uh, Dumb and Dumbledore, who's taking it? And for what point value? I'm taking it for one. One. All right. This question means something. All right, your question in Epic Adventures. In Indiana Jones in the Dial of Destiny, Dr. <laughs> Voller is on what mode of transportation when he dies? It's getting intense, Mark. Yeah. I, I got to be honest. I wasn't 100% sure we can banter. I'm, like, I'm not 100% sure if Tim and Nick banter. I think they usually right. banter at this part. Yeah, we got the thumbs up from Nick. We're okay. good. I forgot. We're, you guys are funner here. We're, we are you know less fun, as we pointed out earlier. Five, four. <laughs> oh. Three. Two. <laughs> one. Hands down. Uh, <laughs> we'll go to uh, Anna first. I said a train. And Tim? I said plane. Plane is the correct answer. Yeah. Uh, so with that, high table goes up to 25, and Dumb and Dumbledore goes down to uh, 19, and we're going to take a pause here. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got high table 25, uh, Dumb and Dumbledore at 19. Uh, for this uh, next question, uh, Tyler and uh, Nick have to take it, and uh, they will be answering from uh, the category of horror icons. All right. Uh, start with uh, Dumb and Dumbledore. Uh, who's taking it? Uh, Nick, you're taking it. What point value are you going with? I have bet two points for some reason. Two points. All right. Hi, Table Tyler. What are you doing? I'm just doing uh, one. All right. One point. All right. We got it. Your question in Horror Icons. Which film in the Friday the 13th franchise is Jason's mask broken apart by the main character? So if I'm not mistaken, I believe no matter what, Nick has to get this question correct to stay in the game. Uh, yes. Pressure's on. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll say that. Uh, Nick seems to know it. Oh, five. Don't Four. suck, Nick. But if Tyler hits Two. them, it's over. One, pens down. Pens down. Pens down. Okay, let's go, with Tyler. So, Friday the Thirteenth, the final chapter. 
Okay, uh, Nick. The new blood? The new blood is correct. So, uh, that dumb and Dumbledore gets our score up to 21. A high table go down to 24. You still got a game here. Uh, players reset. We go into your next question, our next category, which is James Bond. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, hi, uh, Hi, table. Who's taking it for what point value? I'm taking it and doing zero. Zero. Good man. All right. Uh, Dumb and Dumbledore, who's taking it for what point value? I just realized the saying is fortune favors the bold, and that's not necessarily a guarantee that favor, like that fortune will find the bold, but we went bold, and I'm betting two. Okay. <laughs> Dylan, you know, I just realized I uh, skipped over you. Why don't you take that's this fine. question? Sure. <laughs> So your question in the category of James Bond. In Die Another Day, what is the name of the undercover MI6 agent who is actually working with Gustav Graves? And uh, we'll accept either first or last name. Yes. Didn't see that part, my bad. It's fine. They use the Excel sheets, and we all know what's going on. He's a repeat. We're team Google Docs at Melee. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Can repeat? No, oh. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, no, we no. Okay, uh, let's go to Nick, yeah. I think, I think it's Miranda Frost. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Tyler. Yeah, it's Rosamund Pike's character, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> Miranda, uh, Miranda Frost is correct, so we will accept uh, Frost. <laughs> uh, Dumb and Dumbledore gets score up to 23. Woo-hoo. Going into the penultimate qu- question or round number three to come in the category of YA. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll go over to Dumb and Dumbledore. Anna has to take it. What are you betting? Two. All right. High table. Tim, you got to take it. What are we doing? Two. <laughs> Two these all around. Because I skipped you, Dylan, why don't you read this YA question, too? Oh, sweet. All right, so your question in the category of YA. How many YA films were directed by Francis Lawrence? Now it just feels wrong to talk. It's getting a little too intense, Mark. I love the too intense, right? What a time. So happy you got invited here. Yeah, based on our ability to uh, keep a secret and not based on our fandom knowledge. <laughs> right. Five, four, Use repeat if you need three, it. Three, two, one. Pens down. Okay, let's go to Tim. I think it's four. Okay, Anna. I also put four. <laughs> no. four. <laughs> four is correct. Uh, we gonna go. <laughs> Into the last question, High Table still has a one still has a one point lead, twenty six to twenty five. Uh, Go ahead. Do, do I say the category and then set two, set one, and set two, or do you? I yeah, say you can just one? say the category and we'll figure it okay. out. Okay. Final category of this mat of uh, round number three: Disney animation. Fuck. All right, uh, Dumb and Dumbledore. How many points you betting? This is everything I hoped it would be in more. Uh, two. All right. And then uh, I table. Wait, you guys I thought I concocted it. Uh, we're going to. <laughs> right. Good point. Both teams betting two. There will be a winner after. One or two. Anyway, Dumb and Dumbledore, since you guys are behind, we will start with you. And uh, you'll be answering your Disney animation, animation question from set one. Your question. In Lady and the Tramp, what kind of animal at the zoo does Tramp convince to remove the muzzle off of Lady? Do you know this? No. I'm fairly sure it's a beaver. (laughs) Which is weird, because normally beavers aren't at the zoo. But but in this movie, they are. Four. Repeat. 
<laughs> All right, that is uh, your first repeat, I believe. Your question again. In Lady and the Tramp, what kind of animal at the zoo does Tramp convince to remove the muzzle off of Lady? Like, bites it, like, with his beaver teeth. Cool. That sounds like fun. We should watch that movie. I don't like it very much. Uh, beaver, final answer. <laughs> that is correct for two points. <laughs> the way you said beaver. beaver. <laughs> so they're going to win. Okay, let's do this. Come on. We got this. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, Table, you got your question. Oh, God. Two. You think I win or lose off of this one? Thanks, Mark. You got two repeats also. <laughs> Dylan. All right. Your question in Disney animation. In Alice in Wonderland, when Alice grows giant in the White Rabbit's house, what kind of animal comes with a ladder and tries to help? So that's when she like goes down the tree at the beginning and right. she drinks the thing and grows. Uh, repeat the question. All right, that's your second repeat. Your question again. In Alice in Wonderland, when Alice grows giant in the White Rabbit's house, what kind of animal comes with a ladder and tries to help? Yeah, because she, like, goes in, and then that's when she, like, sh ends up shrinking down to go through the door or whatever. And so I feel like it would be something smaller, but let's use the last repeat. All right, that is your final repeat. Your question again. In Alice in Wonderland, when Alice grows giant in the White Rabbit's house, what kind of animal comes with a ladder and tries to help? Do you have anything? No, I'm sorry. I I'm thinking like a mouse or something like that. That was my gut instinct was a mouse because I think it's something small that comes with the ladder, maybe helps her shrink. All right, Three, yeah, go ahead. Two. Mouse, final answer. And your winners, Dumb and. Dumbledore, wow. uh, the correct answer was a, a lizard. A lizard? <laughs> a lizard doing in a tree. Oh my God. Um, it's the mouse yeah, of the reptile I, kingdom. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I also suppose we'll get, uh, to get started. I don't know if we did uh, post-match interviews or are you guys, uh, are we talk about it a little you bit. You guys could recap. Tell us how you're feeling. We need a minute. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Dylan, this is a pretty good match. Uh, we, uh, you know, uh, and uh, given the you know the surprising nature of it all, nobody knew what was going on, really, including us. You know, we just got messages, but uh, it was it was fun to see uh, Nick and Tim come back and uh, battle again. See uh, new face Anna as well as uh, Tyler. Uh, what 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 do you think? Yeah, you said uh, this was a, a lot of fun, just a great match, and yeah, it was really fun to see uh, some big returns. And also, uh, I, I'm not sure if Anna's played in singles this year because I don't know what's been recorded or released, but it, it was really fun seeing her in teams as well. Yeah, and crazy. It's crazy in round three there. I believe Dumb and Double Dory were down six points at one point and then were able to come back and win the game, which is incredibly impressive. I think they their strategy uh, from the second question in round three onward was, like I think, really, really strong. So I think it was a great performance from them. And, yeah, I'm very excited about both these teams. So, yeah. Radio. Uh, I was gonna start it. Uh, even if uh, second place finishes today, uh, the high table, uh, which is uh, uh Tyler, uh, Tim. Uh, hey. it, it's it, I gotta say, very fun to see both you guys uh back yeah. in the ring. Uh, really excited to see Tyler back back here again. And uh, you guys uh, started off pretty well. Fourteen points, round number one, pretty good. Uh. Got the uh, only with the multiple choice one time and a uh, criminal underworld. Very nice. Uh, just, you know, you missed a couple questions round number three. That just seems to be what happened. But how do you guys feel like you did coming back after a while? Good. I thought the odds of there being an Ocean's Eleven question was not good. I watched the first half. I'm like, I, I, 
I could finish this, but it's so bad. So I was like, I doubt there's going to be a question regarding like this particular movie. So I don't think I'll miss anything important. <laughs> That's all right. No, yeah. this is fun. Like Tyler and I have been friends for a long time and we've never played on the same team unless it was in like a special event that I'm not remembering. But we've talked about like playing on a team together, but like Nick and I were always on a team. And so it just like, and it never worked out for melee. But um, so when, when Nick and I decided like we were going to come back and just have fun, Tyler was like the first person I thought of. And this was a lot of fun. And we said going into it, it was going to be a lot of fun. So there's no, like animosity or hard feelings or anything this is a this is a blast and honestly if anything i'm just like super excited for anna because <laughs> she like yeah she hit a question that like very much so she could have easily missed and sent it to the final question so that was great good for her and uh nick sucks uh i did better than him in round one uh but you know and also um I still have never uh, beat Nick in fandom, so there's that. But uh, <laughs> but this was actually this was a lot of fun, and I, I know we don't get to like play another match right away. But the fact that like Tyler and I get to play another match eventually and keep a casual fun thing about it is really exciting and fun, and I'm excited. And yeah, uh, yeah I don't know anything else, Tyler. I thought this was no. great. No. Oh, great. Cool. That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys want to play anybody else, or I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, I you don't guys, know. You guys want to beat somebody? <laughs> I don't know. Coho kind of sucks. Um, I don't know. We'll play anyone. We're having fun. Yeah. It's mm. it's just to get that competitive edge going, but we're having fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, you set it up. I'm pretty sure you can make that happen. Uh, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> And uh, go into your your winners of the match. Uh, Nick, Anna, Dumb, and Dumbledore. Uh, <laughs> I got I gotta tell you, like, uh, you guys made you guys made a wild match. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get there, and you know, uh, there were definitely some sparks at the end. Maybe a minor uh, electrical controversy over here, but you know, uh, <laughs> you guys you guys played pretty well, especially near the end. Uh, really, uh. I uh, took it to them, able to hit that last question, send it back over to them. Uh, but how you guys uh, feel about how you did? <laughs> so, um, Anna will be debuting in singles late. Um, she has not seen a movie before. At, like in twenty start in twenty twenty three, she had like never seen a movie. But for some reason, she was like, "That thing you do, um, that looks fun. I want to do that." And I was like, "Why? Like you've never seen a movie before?" She's like, "Nope, screw it, I'm in." So like, we started watching stuff. I had to rewatch stuff anyway for question writing and whatnot. And so that's where this started. And then I was like, "You know, to make you feel better, what if you like played on a team first? And I went through all the people, and I was like, "You know what? Fuck it, I'll be your team partner." Um, and then Tim was like, if you guys are playing, like, I want to play. And and I was like, oh, cool. So this is all exciting. He was like, I think I could get Tyler, too. And that was honestly the most exciting part about all this for me was seeing Tyler be in the back. Um, we, were, we were not supposed to win. We got very lucky. If we got the lizard question, we would have been – we would not have gotten that. I know Beaver for some random reason. Don't even know why I know it, but I know it. Um, and we had to swing on categories that I'm not good at and could have ended at any point in time. So, like – I think we are equally, we are both equally shocked to be here, but um, I'll shut up. Uh, Anna, how do you feel? You won. That's insane. I told my family that I was playing movie trivia today and they went, all, oh, so Nick's playing movie trivia and you're just there. And I was like, yeah, that's for sure. But I, listen, we've, we've like, I've tried um, like watching old matches and like practicing on that. And like, I have a weird, like really good guess it. Like I can guess things very well, but no, I like when I met Nick, I told him like, I had never seen Harry Potter before, like sounded cool, but like never seen it. Like any of those like big franchises just like never really saw them. And honestly, I saw Nick's life drain from him. Like I, he, I could just tell he was so disappointed in me. Um, but you know, he, he has, uh, been a good coach and we've been watching, which is good. Um, even though my attention span is very small, um, but he has 
sat he has made me watch all of these movies and it's been it's honestly been fun this is this was exhilarating so now i'm like even more excited to play but it's weird because i'm like amongst all these big names like i feel like i just played in the major leagues and now i'm going to like college <laughs> like i went from major league football to like now i'm going back to college football i don't know we're doing the opposite just so you know um Norm, hosts, normally this is where you would ask the question, but you don't actually know what's happening next. I do. Unfortunately, the winner of this match is entered into the summer teams tournament, um, which means we are now in the summer teams tournament at either the seven or the eight seed, which means we are playing either the one or the two seed, Young Justice or Galactic's Nuts. Um, <laughs> we're screwed, but the fact that we can play was a shock um so all, all i want everyone to know is like me and tim wanted to come back but we wanted to mean more than just like a one-off like for a fun match that didn't count so like these are real teams like tim and tyler are gonna play again and you'll see anna and i in the tournament where we'll likely get our butts handed to us uh but that's okay because uh we're here for fun and that's what we had i'm dumb by the way she's dumbledore fun was had. yeah facts okay. Okay, cool. uh, I think we covered it. Uh, I think we did. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you know, and we learned something very important today, Dylan, is that Anna is a glutton for punishment. Because little does she know, there are people who love watching movies that hate doing this. So, <laughs> you know, good on you. Uh, anyway, that will do it uh, for us, right? I believe so. Uh, great episode of movie. Uh, uh, sorry, Phantom Fights. We're doing, we did fandom fights. That color. was the match we did. <laughs> Different color palette. Uh, thank you for everybody who showed up. Thank you, uh, Tim, Tyler, also Nick, and Anna, and uh, whoever wrote these questions, whoever's going to edit all you guys. And uh, yeah, me and Dylan, you know, we did okay. Uh, you know, uh, and, you know, we just got to find that outro. And...